Well, good morning to you. Uh, I'm going to try and do all of this today on a GoPro. Uh, I've not been using a GoPro uh, for my uh, sort of talking head stuff, so uh, not too sure as to how I'm going to be able to enjoy it. But um, I'll give it a go. Uh, we're meeting up here this morning at the uh, Doisetep Nature Study Centre. This is uh, obviously in honour of His Majesty the King. And in here is um, an exhibition centre, which is um, always worth a little visit. Currently, they've got some interesting things on display. But it's a magnificent place just here under this canopy of beautiful, beautiful trees. Not too sure exactly where we're going. We're on one of these trips with uh, uh, Bijup, and uh, this is today uh, planting 2,000 trees. Uh, there's a lot of us going so uh, we are going to plant a lot of trees each and it's going to be fun. ทุกคนเจอช่วยว่าการศึกษาวิกาได้ประทานมูลนิธิสถาบันราชการกับผมพีรชาติเรียนประดิษฐ์ครับหัวหน้าทางเอกชนในกิจกรรมปูป่าที
พื้นที่โปรแกรมอยู่พี่น้องเกษตรกรในพื้นที่หน่วยงานใหญ่ที่สุดคือมูลนิธิสถาบันราชพฤกษ์ซึ่งเป็นสถาบันที่ปลูกป่าตอบแทนคุณแผ่นดินมาเป็นระยะเวลายาวนานต่อเนื่องถึง36ปีเข้าสู่ปีที่37แล้วก็แม่ริมม่อนแจมม่อนล่องอะไรเนี่ยอยู่ในใจของมูลนิธิสถาบันราชพฤกษ์มาโดยตลอดUh, a couple of planting areas we've been to over the last few years, and to put trees back in the earth is really magical. <laughs> to see them grow is really encouraging. We've been back there a couple of times to measure them, to to look at the um, the growth of the plants, and that is measured on a database as to what type of plants uh, are doing so well in that area and how other plants are needing uh, maybe more shade or more light. And talking, you know, and talking about, and, and, and indicating how uh, the uh, undergrowth is a great place to have these seedlings grow to grow up into the canopy. Lovely to be up here. This smell. I wish this was another scratch and sniff uh, video. There is a carpet up here of pine. That's uh, pine branches that have been brought off the trees up there, and the pine is really. Really thick in the air here. And it's where we've been treading on the pine that has all been uh, coming up into the air, so we can smell the pine. Gorgeous. a terrific uh, feeling to be all among all this rustling. It's all, all this rustling plastic, all these raincoats. Amazing. It's a different uh, atmosphere. With, as I said, walking along there. They're not talking a lot, but I hope you can hear this. It's, it's the rustling of the plastic coats. We've been waved on to go further along here. So b a d i k a p s b a d i k u n l a k a p s b a d i k a p s Dijang l e y My my John Nan. My John Nan. Oh, r a m a n u n g Pei Gong. Light on, mate. They've always already been put in against all those sticks that you can see going up there. Wow. So there's plenty of space down here now. Without any seedlings, so this is where we're going to be putting some seedlings in. Well, these are little 
tags that um, these saplings will have and they will be monitored over years so another trip back here on another occasion to see how the saplings are are coming on because once they're in you know they may well live but they might not live so healthily and therefore the the monitoring actually looks at you know how uh, the leaves are um, developing as to whether there's problems in the leaf in the and then in the area are there problems in bugs in that area um, comparing one uh, tree sapling to another of the same species and therefore understanding as to whether it's in the wrong place it's a fascinating uh, study that goes on constantly by foru they just do some fantastic work up here uh, to reforest uh, to replant northern thailand for any of you that have taken any interest in my personal life my left hand foot little toe that I broke seven weeks ago now. It's healing, but uh, it's just a little bit sore. I was a bit dubious about coming today. I'm glad I have. Coming up and down these mountains <laughs> is reminding me it's there. A lot of this uh, landscape has been burnt. You can see there the bamboo that has been burnt. So forest fires have cleared this and wiped out all of the established trees maybe over the last couple of years but this project will bring a lot of new growth back <laughs> plaque here explaining how to plant trees. It's in English, uh, so uh, unfortunately it's not handy for people living locally, but you stake the site, you dig the hole twice the size of the container, remove the sapling from the container and keeping the, the root ball intact, place the sapling in the hole. Pro tip here, mark the trees planted by placing container over the stake, let, let someone collect all of them after and then firm down the soil around the planted sapling and spread fertilizer in a ring 50 to 100 grams so here we have the fertilizer available in the bag very good leg so I don't have to go to it I just throw it at it ah, look at that good shot cap arm I, I am five to ten grams five to hundred fifty to hundred grams cap I'll do a circle in future I will. <laughs> I've just been told off. I've not been doing circles around a tree. I should... A circle of 50 grams. I, that's my second one. Cranty song. My Ben Lai.
Oh, some hoodoos. There's a hoodoo there, look. I've fallen over three times so far. I'm absolutely covered in mud. Uh, look, look at this. And when you fall, you know, there's no stopping. It's just sliding and you think, oh, I'll stop at the next route or something. But no, you just keep going and going and going. You just can't stand up. And then when you walk on, the, this path's all right at the moment. Not many people have walked on this bit of path, but up the top there. You're walking along and you just slip in the slide. It's like an ice rink. So um, you've got to be really careful. So if you grab the nearest tree, you've got to be really, really careful. You don't grab something else as well, like a... Like a you know, like a spike or something on, on a tree. Yeah, good fun. And uh, this morning I'm so glad I've come out here. I don't know how much uh, longer I've uh, got on battery here, but uh, I'll wish you farewell. And thank you for joining me, me us, uh, Duke, uh, and uh, Stephen Elliott, and uh, the other people here on uh, that have all come together to make this happen. And uh, the organisers uh, that uh, got together and said a wonderful had a wonderful ceremony and said some nice words about people this morning. It's great. All these people are going to get a new forest back. Wonderful. See you in the next video. Bye bye. It's like climbing Everest, you must feel so ex exhilarated. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Zuzu Cab. Well, there's about 50 people behind us, and we made it out fairly early because we thought, uh, you know, we've got to go back. Everybody's finished. They just stood there chattering and taking selfies in the mud. But we realised that uh, if we don't get out soon, uh, the more people that walk on that trail, the more dangerous, lethal it becomes. And to be honest, it's very dangerous. We, uh, and we've been taking it gently and we're early. Oh, this storm is really coming in now. The, w the wind's blowing. And we can't see, <laughs> can't see where we've come from. Look at that. Oh, goodness me. Well, we're back at Mon Jam, uh, the public attraction, the attraction that people come to view on a regular basis. Coriander, loads of it. glamping with the white tents and the colourful mud huts and that sort of thing and, the, and uh, people enjoying barbecues on the decks uh, with, with you know, on their illegal things that are out there. You just can't see them at all. Joining me on this live broadcast from the top of Mont Jam, uh, we're up here with Foru and the uh, many people who have come together today to uh, put together a, a mass planting, 2,000 plants this weekend. 
in the hillside of Mont Jam. It's been a bit muddy, as you can imagine. bit of uh, thunder rolling in the background up here uh, but the rain has stopped and the, the wind has died down it's a lot calmer now than it was uh, half an hour ago we've had a little bite to eat and uh, you can now see the the clamping over the far side here all the little white tents little igloos little pods Now the storm's passed over, you can actually see the storm going off across that way there, down towards the south-southwest. We've been up in this mountain area here, way on around the back there. Uh, it's a clearing that we've been putting some saplings in. But uh, on this side, you can see the farmers have planted Pakchi, the coriander there, and cabbages and all sorts of other vegetables across the valley there. But then you've got the glamping going on, and as you can see, the tents that are terraced on the side of the mountain, and all the way around this valley, there are many glamping sites exactly the same as this. You know, people have got to make their money, but uh, it's so sad when you see this uh, glamping going on, um, and then uh, you, you attend a, a reforestation event like this. It, it shows you that, uh, you know, that it is literally uh, cheap by jowl. These organisations that were uh, involved in this event today, and the Ratchapook Institute is the organisation we actually came here for, and uh, FORU are the people who um, really, really uh, do a lot of the organisation of it. Blooms here, look. Fresh. Fresh flowers, no plastic flowers. Gorgeous. Thank you.